Hey, Collective. It's Avita from Avita's Light Tarot. I apologize. I just getting distracted by the noise in the background. Uh, please don't forget, if you're vibing, to hit that like button for me to support my channel. Also, if you want a personal reading or have any questions, my information is in the description box. I'm pretty much caught up on most of my reads, so if you guys want a personal, um, you, it's not long wait, okay? Um, all right, so what I am pulling on here is a family, okay? This could be a father, a father figure, stepfather, an uncle, okay? Somebody here that you definitely, um, maybe you looked up to at some, at some point, but this person could have been very strict. And it, it, things were never good enough, no matter what you did. Okay, this is what I'm picking up. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestor, Spirit Guides, the Most High, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil eye, or negative intention toward us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you. Archangel Michael, will you please protect us this time? Okay. I'm just going to get us a couple of bubbles, guys. You got to get the bubble of... Gotta do the dance. Okay. You start to love it after a while. Somebody's initial could start with a W. Okay. So what I'm picking up is after you had gone through your awakening, right? At first you were just, you kind of were like at awe, in awe because you couldn't believe what you were seeing and what you were figuring out. You could have been really sick at, at one point around this time, or you could have um, even had like a near death experience, could have been in an accident, something could have happened that set this awakening off. And somebody could have ended up either passing before or after, or they could have been put in the hospital because they were really sick, or they could have just been really sick. Okay, something could have happened. Yeah, so somebody was, somebody could have been trying to avoid telling you a, tr telling you some truth about a situation, okay? This could have even been the person that either passed or was sick. They didn't want you to worry. They didn't want you to be concerned with this situation. It could have been a mother, it could have been a sister, a brother, um somebody you were close to though okay but they they knew about these secrets and they just felt that it was too much for you to know or to, to and not only that but they also were scared because they were threatened is what I'm was what I'm hearing okay so this person was avoiding So they could have been trying to keep both of you safe, us safe, okay? Commitment. So this person was committed to this other person. 
even though they knew how evil they were. Reminds me of my situation that I was in with my, with my family. Um, triggers. Yeah, so there could have been a lot of triggers here. Um, something definitely triggered you to go through this awakening. But there, it was like a, a things that happened. Things could happen to you in like number sequences like twos or threes or something. But it could have like a couple of things went off together here. All right. And you didn't know, like, how to handle it. It was definitely a lot to handle. Awareness. So, they didn't want you to find something out. Maybe this person was about to tell you the truth. Because something could have triggered them. And that's why these events happened the way they did. That's why that person could have got sick or passed. And things are definitely coming to light about the situation. Like you are starting to figure things out, okay? They could have come find you at one point. They could have had you like locked in or kind of like feeling restrained. Like you couldn't get anywhere. You couldn't do anything. Maybe they even had a tick in your car or you had car problems or um, there could have been something here where there was definitely a situation where you felt confined. You felt prisoned and they were definitely very manipulating. And these, this person who didn't tell you the truth, they loved you. But this person had a lot of mental um, things going on, conflicts because of this. Okay. I feel like they were worried about like what this person would have done next, right? Yeah, they didn't want you guys to be left out in the cold. They felt that the that something here would have happened. I feel like this person always made sure that you had somewhere to lay your head. Like, they just were always there at, in the end for you, okay? Whoever this person was who could have been um, sick or could have passed away here, okay? And this right here is what they wanted for you, the person who... Um, caused this, okay? Like I said, it could be a father, father figure, an uncle, um, stepfather, somebody who definitely was very hard disciplined. So, the person was going to tell you the truth because they found out that they were going to use you as a sacrifice. So you could have, what I'm getting here is after you went through your awakening and you started figuring things out, you could have either confronted these, you could have confronted them or you could have said something to somebody else, like family, another family member, a sibling, um, a friend. Um, but you definitely could have done something or said something and that started another, a domino effect. Okay. So 
what I'm getting here is after you did this, okay, I had a huge download. So I'm, I'm making sure that I'm getting the cards synchronized with the downloads. Um, all right, so if somebody was in the hospital or they passed, okay, your family could be, uh, there could be somebody that is either in your family or close to your family that is in, like, as an attorney, a lawyer here, and they have this thing about helping people in this group or that are in this family, connected to the family, um, with, like, suing and different, um, things to get money, uh, quick, 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 what you call it, like, schemes quick scheme to make money there's another name for it but I can't think of it um so they could have even had something going on here in court with malpractice all right Yeah, they're just worried about their future. They're thinking like everything is their domain. This is their domain. The earth, the planet, the community. Like they, they, this person acts like they're a leader. They could have even been in the military or they act like that. They act very strict, like, uh, very organized, very, uh, disciplined. Um, things have to be their way. They're, they're set. They're very old school. Okay. And, um, so they, they made a phone call when they found out what you, all right, after you had spoke some truth, so you were correct. Okay. I don't know if you confronted the person themselves or if you just said this to somebody else, but they made a phone call after this. So when they made this phone call, they said it's time. Yeah, they, they wanted they wanted to unalive you, but they needed to make sure that they erased everything because you, they didn't think that you were going to make it this far anyway, but they needed to erase what you've already said, the things that you've said, the things that you know. So they had their people hack the system. So they hacked everything with the community, with the system, with the um, hospital, the hospital records, with the courts. In this community so this community they had some kind of issues with their system being hacked message yep they got a message here that you were freely speaking about what would happen because you were a, you're a truth teller you're speaking the truth you found out that this person tried to sacrifice you okay they tried to unalive you and see as they're making this deal with the death angel. And here's like, here you go. Here's my daughter and my son. You can just have them. Not saying that's, you know, what's going, like, it's a daughter and son. But I'm just saying like, that's, this person's like, here you go. Right. But see, it didn't happen. So then there was a message of concern because... You're chosen. You're chosen by the Most High. Do not touch my anointed. You may have had it hard. It may have been a struggle. This may have been a very difficult, difficult thing that you've gone through here. Especially if you lost this person who did love you and that was there for you. 
that could have been like your go-to person. And now they're, they hacked the system. So they hacked the system so that they could cover up their tracks. This person could drink, this person could party, they could be older, but they still, they, they probably look pretty good for their age because they've, they've messed with a lot of, um, they paid for it. They, they messed with a lot of dark stuff. You may not have known this until you went through your awakening and then you started finding things out. You probably felt things were off before, but then once you had your awakening, things started making more sense to you. They didn't, but they did, right? It was like, wait, that don't make sense, but it does make sense. It actually made more sense. But definitely I'm picking up that this person had a chance here to come clean twice. Well, not only twice, one, two, three. Three times that they drank over it. Okay. While they were contemplating. Then they still had two more chances here. Imagine. I'm getting somebody's name could be Storm. I don't know why I heard that. There could have been a storm. Something about a storm could be significant. Yeah. Ooh. I hadn't seen this one yet. I haven't I I haven't used this deck much. Um but the eyes on this dog, the dog, yeah, so they have been throwing a lot of illusions. But see, what they don't realize is as they're throwing these illusions, not only at, at you and everybody else and in and, and the community too. I'm getting the community because you got these two big blocks, like it's blocking off an area. So this community has been under an illusion, these people. And here you go, the little crab, you know, going down your path because you're being protected. And you got spirits out here keeping, keeping them distracted while you're doing your thing. Yeah, you definitely um, had a guardian angel with you this whole time that was keeping you balanced. Because you are chosen. You are here on earth to be an angel. To do things that angels do up there. You are here to bring it to the earth. You're here. That's what they're preparing you for is to show people your light and your love. Right? Because sometimes even angels have gone through some some very hard stuff, but they still have to keep their presence up of being an angel and being of love. Alright, so so far I have I have wands, okay, top of fire sign, Sagittarius Leo Aries, and I also have Pentacles, um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And I do have, well, it's only, I have one cup and I have a Scorpio, but you know your energy. I, I really, like I say, um, genders could be swapped. And I really, I tell you guys, go more by the energy than the signs. I just heard coming to America. So you were, I heard this the other day, golden child, like isn't coming to America about a golden child? Yeah, with gifts. Ooh. So they could have set you up here with a lover and this lover had put you through hell. Okay, this, you could have thought this was your flame. This person was set up with you, with your, fa your father or your uncle, whoever this person is here in your family set you up with this person yeah so 
they also, while they were doing all this other stuff, they made sure to put different, uh, they put cameras in different places. Like if you have like, say, um, an, like a thing up on your wall, um, like a painting, they could have put it within the painting or like, let me see if I could show you something here. All right, so they could have put like something in a in a hair clip, right? Um, not that you're gonna put a hair clip on a wall, but I'm saying like in a hair clip that they know that you wear all the time. Um, on a painting that's on the wall, I'm hearing something about the bathroom, the mirror. If you have like a spot on your wall where you, it looks like you know when they patch up where somebody had um, like punched it or something, that's patched up because they have something in there and the it there's like a a clear the paint is actually translucent on the other side you could see you could see out you just can't see in okay so that this person was actually your handler so that everything that you guys may have done intimately was recorded wow So this person is having things or already did have things messed up in um, in the system. You could have even got something in the mail that said, I don't know if you throw your mail away before you even read it, if it's from like a hospital or something, but if you don't and you actually read it, it will say in there that their systems got hacked. Um, that's if you're getting your mail. Yeah, so people could have been walking away from you when you spoke the truth. Like, you see how he's got the sword in his hand? Like, you're speaking the truth. And these people are walking away. Like, they they don't want nothing to do with your truth. This ex-lover, I'm hearing ex. I don't think you're with them anymore. This ex-lover was talking shiznit to the community about you. And they they were talking so much to not only them, but their what the what the plans were is to have it so you didn't have anywhere to go, anyone that would even trust you. They were saying that you were you would you were committing fraud, you were using drugs, you were a prostitute, or even if you're a man, they could say that you do things like that. Um, you know, like sleep around. Uh, you, you do things for money. Yeah, this person was a decoy. This person could have been a fire sign, Knight of Wands, okay? And they definitely were there to backstab you. They were told that you, something was special about your blood, that your, you had healing blood, that if they could do what they were supposed to do here, that they were promised, um... that they would be able to get rid of a, like to cure something. This person could have had some kind of STD and they came in, they were supposed to give this to you. But what I'm hearing here is you didn't get this. You didn't get this. So you probably, because you had love for this person, you could have even healed this person, not realized it. I actually did a reading up a couple weeks ago or a month ago about somebody who actually healed uh, per, uh, this person because they, when they were intimate, they did it with love and that's, that cured this person or at least it protected you from getting sick. So if it didn't cure them, at least it protected you. Colton. Somebody's name could be Colton.
a soldier. Yeah, you are a soldier for the most part. For the universe. You are here to, um, to basically bring love on the earth and to help protect the earth. Protecting it from evil. So you are too a protector. Queen rising. Okay. Stepping into your power. Praised coming up in the spotlight. So you're definitely very on point. You're intuitive. You're clairvoyant. You definitely have visions. You could probably even uh, see auras. Yeah, this person is stalking and very obsessed with you. I was saying about the soldier because the soldier card fell out. Or that person could have been in the military. Maybe you didn't even know about it. Wish, uh, this person could have even catfished you. You guys could have met through a dating site or online or through friends or something here, but it was set up. Yeah. Like the person has the paper and they're writing something down here. It's like they're, it's a setup. They're, it's, yeah. So this person started a lot of drama. A lot of drama, mama. All right. One more, please. Okay, so something legal is going to definitely probably come out of this. Something that you knew about was hidden. So you could have confronted them about some property or something that you knew was supposed to be there. You could have been told this before this person passed or got sick, or you could have been, you could have gotten told in the download but you just knew and you could have confronted or said something. So they went and did a, uh, some kind of quick claim thing where they changed something. Okay. So if it was a property, a home, they did a, a thing so that it would automatically, um, have the other person's name on it. So if you went to go get it checked out, it could have came up with somebody else's name. So even if you had a private investigator check it out, and at first they were like, yeah, your name's on it. But then, you you know, you went back, and now it's, it's not on it no more. This person is having all of this wiped out and changed so that they can cover up their tracks and to try to make you look like a liar. But all this is coming to light. You are being bullied. So you are being bullied online, or you were. If you, and I just heard if you think that it's calmed down, like it may have stopped. Um, I just heard tread lightly, like watch what you're saying, um, change your passwords and stuff. Like still be a little careful because there's a couple of bugs I heard. So there's still a couple of bugs that you need to fix. Okay. Especially for that to come back out. And, uh, some, something is definitely going to be brought to court here. This person who's very much in their ego is going to go to court. The, they're, they're not getting away with this. So, but remember, it doesn't matter what they took. Because you're, even if you don't get that back, you're still going to be blessed with just as much and more. So, that's why we need not worry. Because no matter what, we are going to have what we need to get to move forward. So just believe, have faith and just believe because you've had faith this long and you've made it this far. What does that tell you? That tells you that you are being protected and that you're chosen, right? And just like the angels, we have to believe. We have to believe. All right, love. Peace, love, and light. Please don't forget to, if you're vibing, hit that like button. 
Also, um, information is in the description box. Uh, if you guys feel up to it, I also have a tip jar. All right, guys.